Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today is not going to be a repair video, it's going to be a little bit of a warning. And that warning is to stay away from BWE's software. So for those of you that don't know, BWE is a software developer and electronics technician based in Australia. It stands for Better Way Electronics and he developed some software for the PlayStation 5 to read error codes from the PlayStation 5, the UART error codes, and output them on the PC so as you can fault find your device, which is all well and good, that's great, and the software does work. I'm not here to rant about the software. I'm here to rant about the fact that he is stealing from his customers, and I've got proof of that. A friend of mine spoke to me yesterday, Lee from Uber Micro Repairs, I highly recommend you check his channel if you don't if you don't know who he is already. I'll leave a link in the top pin comment. But Lee from Uber Micro Repairs purchased his software in December 2024, so around about four and a half to five months ago. We're just in the start of May right now, so yeah, around about four and a half to five months ago, roughly. And basically, he used it once. He used it in February 2025. He then put his laptop away, he put it on the shelf, he moved house, he did a load of things and then he went to use it again yesterday and he was banned for no reason. He was banned. So he got in touch with BWE, I'll show you all of the proof in a minute, he got in touch with BWE to try and find out why and the response was honestly quite laughable but quite disgraceful at the same time. So we'll head over to the PC. I'm going to show you the evidence that I've got. I'm going to show you the conversation that he's had with BWE and why BWE, well, what BWE is, uh, you know, basically up to. And I do want to say, Lewis Rossman, uh, you might know, you might be aware of him if you're in the electronics repair scene or if you watch any, you know, electronics repair videos and stuff. Lewis Rossman, you know, highly recommend checking him out as well. Absolutely fantastic technician, great guy. Uh, he did a video on this a while back because he was behaving in the same way and it seemed like he stopped for a bit, but now he's up to his old tricks again. He just can't help himself. So, yeah, anyway, let's head over to the PC and I'll show you what's actually going on. So, if we take a look here, and Lee's actually online right now, but I don't really have time to talk to him. He's actually on the uh, voice chat. So, if you don't know, we've got a Discord. It's completely free to use. Uh, you can jump over to the Coders World and... Uh, yeah, there's a few thousand people in here. Um, but yeah, anyway. So yesterday, 11 a.m., Lee posts some pictures on Discord in general chat. And the first picture was, sorry, it was at 10 a.m. Uh, the first picture was this one. And this picture says, your access is revoked for breach of terms and conditions. Contact BWE for resolution. Wait what exactly yeah he's banned him from his software so basically he uses some licensing software which there's been some questions asked about this software about how it's snooping on your pc and stuff so what lee does just to be safe because it is good software at the end of the day it does the job and it does the job well but what Lee does is he has it on this laptop, and this is kind of like a burner laptop where he will basically just keep this on the shelf until he uses it. The only software he uses this laptop for, as you can probably see from the desktop here, is this software. He doesn't use it for anything else. It's literally just for that software so he can fault find PlayStation 5 whenever he needs to, right? So Lee gets in touch with BWE. He posts this, first of all, just to let people know what's going on. And then he gets in touch with BWE. And there's me. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's at it again. Uh, you know, because I just know straight away, right? So then the WhatsApp conversation starts with BWE. Let's have a look. So Lee sends him a message on WhatsApp. He's obviously blurred out any other WhatsApp messages here. But BWE, this is his phone number. Confirms that he's the correct one and stuff like that. Uh, so he just sends him a, mess a message with a picture of the laptop and a script and a message saying any reason question, right? And BWE responds with why do you respond to this? I don't 
No, not a clue. Why do you just send your links? Like, why? That's not a way to create a customer. Uh, so then he says, uh, hi, who are you? What business do you represent? Uh, that's absolutely fantastic. That's a great way to introduce yourself. Fantastic, that is. I, I, I love it. Hats off to you, sir. Uber Micro Repairs. Ah, okay. Any reason for the license to be revoked? And he just sends him a link to his terms and conditions. That's it. Just sends a link to his terms and conditions. Lee says, please point out the one I have allegedly broken. And he says, please read it before asking me to read it for you. Hmm. Though, given you've accepted it, you've surely read it. I mean, yeah, fair enough. He's probably read your terms and conditions. So Lee comes back and says, I'm not a mind reader. Please enlighten me on the terms you think I have broken. As far as I'm aware, I did nothing wrong. That software was last used on the 15th of the 2nd, 2025. And since that day, the laptop was on my shelf with a dead battery. So for those who are not, not in the UK, we... we we format our dates as DDMMYY, so day, month, year, right? So 15th of February, 2025. And it sat on the shelf with a dead battery. So again, please tell me what I did wrong. And he comes back and just says, no, then no loss, question mark? No loss? Are you kidding me, dude? The guy's paid you for the software. He's paid you to use his software. How is that no loss? He's given you his money. He's put his trust in you that that software is going to work when he needs it. There's nothing in your terms and conditions that say that you have to call back every day and that you have to load up the software every day so as it can, be, so as it can phone home. And even if there was, that term, that term wouldn't stand. It doesn't have to be used every day at all. So how is it no loss? Please explain how it's no loss when he's paid you, he's given you money, You've taken that money, and then you've taken away the ability to use the software. How is that no loss? Please explain, because I'm lost. That's a loss. Anyway, back to the conversation. Lee says, sorry, what does that mean? So he replies again. So here's where the conversation picks up, and he puts, is there any particular reason you're trying it today? Because he can. He paid for it. My original question still stands. Why have you revoked the license? Reading the terms does not give me any indication why you chose to revoke it. And that's correct. He chose to revoke this license. And he put, you know exactly why. But let's stay on topic here, please. Why he's trying to use it is none of your damn business, dude. He's using it for the intended purpose. He loaded up the software so he could use it to fault find a PlayStation 5, which is what he give you money for. Whether he's using it today or six years down the line is none of your business. It's absolutely none of your business. He's already paid you the money. It doesn't matter. End of. You banned me from your Discord, and the only interaction I had in there was me giving you a thumbs up to your comment when you added me. So for those of you that don't know, adding means to tag someone to get their attention. Please give me the reason for revoking the license. You know, Lee. You know what you did. Shameful. You know. Psychic. Ugh. I need you to tell me. And this is where it gets fun. And I suppose your actions here are kind of telling of the character you possess. You don't need anything. What? Seriously? Oh, this is where it gets fun. I think it's best you use some other software. Perhaps the coldest tool may suit you. Hmm. Now we're getting somewhere, buddy. Again, please let me know the exact reason you revoked the license. You know the reason already. Okay, well, it seems you are avoiding the question. End of conversation. 
Please stop talking. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, I honestly have no interest in talking to somebody as disgusting as yourself. He's disgusting now. Why is he disgusting? Please stop talking to me. Thanks. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, I get it now. Phil shouted me out on his video, which he did off his own back, I might add. I see now. I don't watch his videos. I don't see how that would warrant anything. So Lee says, so I'll be taking this decision of yours as theft. And that's exactly what it is. Uh, and I think that's where the conversation ends, is it? Uh, oh, no, it's not. Okay. So here we go. So here's some more. So it says, you take it however you please. Persuade to my terms, which you agreed to, you're banned. Bye. Your service is terminated permanently. Bye. You've also broken another term just now. So feel free to base whatever reason on that then. Keeps it simple. People need to know you are avoiding a simple question. I agree. People need to know. And then it continues here. There we go. All private communications between Betterway Electronics and its customers are strictly confidential. Unauthorized disclosure, including sharing via email or messaging platforms such as WhatsApp, will result in the immediate termination. Dude! You've already terminated his fucking services, man! What are you gonna do? Come on, bro! What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh! Dude! Come on! Oh, damn, dude! Oh, man! This is the only term I've broken, it's after you have revoked the lighter. Damn right, Lee! Damn right, you tell him. It's not the only one, but it's the latest one. All right. Uh, tell me the other one. I'm not interested in having any conversations. Continually leaked. Too late, dude. Too late. I've had permission from Lee to... to release this uh stop conducting yourself in this way and be civil with your customers and you're civil how is he not being civil through this entire conversation like how has he not kept this civil you've robbed the dude of a hundred and some bucks or whatever the freaking hell you charge for this software i'm asking a simple question i've not said anything to cause you harm that would warrant the license being revoked please point me to the reason why you revoked the license and that that will be it done and dusted uh, dot. Hmm. No, you're av avoiding the original question. Sorry, but I value my privacy. Pla Ugh. Dude, come on, man. Is there any more? Please tell me there's more. I like this. It's, it's fun. Um, well, this is unproductive. I'm not, cut I'm not cutting all in any communication with you now. Um, is that all of them? I think that's all of me. Yeah, that's all of them. All right. Dude, what the hell? What the hell? Number one, your number is public. So I'm not leaking any public information by releasing this conversation, okay? Number two, I've had permission from the person who was part of this conversation. And you are a business. So you have no reasonable expectation to privacy, okay? You have none. No reasonable expe expectation to privacy. This is basically me documenting what's going on for educational purposes. So you can't do squat. Okay? So I am releasing this conversation because it is in the public interest. It is in the public interest for people to know what you are doing to your customers. You are stealing from them. You are basically fobbing them off when they ask questions and then trying to trying to claim privacy. You have no reasonable right to privacy as a business. Yes, you have rights to reasonable privacy. You, as a person, but as a business that operates publicly, you have no reasonable expectation. It's like me walking out there with a camera and recording in the street. It's perfectly within my right to do so, okay? Because it's public. It's public. You are stealing from your customers, you are fobbing them off, you have absolutely no interest in resolving issues, you are a complete and utter arsehole, and you do not deserve any money from anyone. Please, I am begging you people, if you've bought this software in the last six months, you are entitled to a refund. You are entitled to open a chargeback, whether you've, opened it, whether you've paid with a credit card, a debit card, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, 
whatever it is, if you pay for that software, please, I am begging you, open a chargeback, get your money back, because he will do this to you as well. This is clear-cut evidence that he's just out there to take people's money, and he just does not care. He does not care. He'll just claim that you've breached some obscure term and condition that he won't even explain what. He won't explain what term you've broke. He won't explain what part of his TOS you've breached at all. He'll just ban you, take away the, the rights to use the software, and that'll be the end of it. And he'll just fob you off because he's a big man baby. He's a man child. He has absolutely no people skills. He's a little hermit who should literally just sit in his basement. Honestly, this guy, ladies and gents, I don't want to insult people, but this guy, seriously, I've made some mistakes in my time, okay? Yeah, I've lost customer devices and I'm shit at communication with people and all of this stuff, right? I acknowledge my mistakes. I can make mistakes. All this guy would have to do is say, I'm sorry, it's a mistake. I'll, re I'll reinstate your license. Please accept my apology. That's all you've got to do, right? If I, for example, break a customer's device or I lose a customer's device or something happens to that customer's device while it's in my care or I do wrong by my customer, I make 100% absolute certain that i put that right i yes i make mistakes we all do we're human at the end of the day but this guy the level of arrogance that you must have to have to have this kind kind of a conversation with one of your customers and then just not care just not care what you think that no one's going to put it out there because you've said that no one can leak the conversation it's not leaking a conversation this is public interest you're a business you have no right to privacy Okay, not as a business. It's as simple as that. And if you want to sue me, sue me. Take me to court. Be my guest. I am more than happy. There is, your number is public on Google. Your number is public on the internet. So I haven't leaked any personal information. All I've released is this conversation, and that is it. Okay, I believe that Lee's going to be doing a video. I'm really getting angry with this guy just talking about it, right? But I believe Lee's going to make a video, so please go and show Lee some support. Go and show him some love. Subscribe to his channel. Watch some of his, video, some of his videos. He really does know his stuff, okay? And I know 100% that Lee is opening a chargeback on this, and I can safely say that now because, you know, this is, uh, you know, he's already opened the chargeback, so I can safely say that now that he's opening a chargeback and stuff like that. Um, and he will get his money back. He has all the evidence he needs. BWE has dug himself a grave and he is screwed. And I am begging you, please, there are free alternatives out there. Don't use his software because not only is he robbing people, he's also snooping on your PC. He knows what software you're running. He knows what websites you're running, like what websites you've got open in the background. If he knows that, what else does he know about you? Simple as that. What else does he know about you from that software? I have a free tool. There are more free tools out there. It's available on GitHub with the source code, by the way, so you, you know what's running in the background and stuff. It's completely free to use. I don't ask any money for it. And the fact that this guy has banned Lee just for knowing me, just for being friends with me, is absolutely ridiculous. There is a backstory to this which with me and BWE, which I'll get into at a later date. The TLDR with that is that I released some software. He was pissed because I beat him to the punchline and he accused me of stealing his software. That's the long and short of it, all right? So I'll get into that at another time. But BWE, fuck you. You're a prick. End of story. Thank you for watching. See you later. Take care. Bye for now. I'm a very happy person, normally.